Lesson 47. God is the strength in which I trust. If you are trusting your own strength, you have every reason to be apprehensive, anxious, and fearful. What can you predict or control? What is there in you that can be counted on? What would give you the ability to be aware of all the facets of any problem and to resolve it in such a way that only good can come of it? What is there about you that gives you the recognition of the right solution and the guarantee that it will be accomplished? Of yourself, you can do none of these things. To believe that you can is to put your trust where trust is unwarranted and to justify fear, anxiety, depression, anger, and sorrow. Who can put his faith in weakness and feel safe? Yet who can put his faith in strength and feel weak? God is your safety in every circumstance. His voice speaks for him in all situations and in every aspect of all situations, telling you exactly what to do to call upon his strength and his protection. There are no exceptions because God makes no exceptions. And the voice which speaks for him thinks as he does. Today we will try to reach past your own weakness to the source of real strength. Four five-minute practice periods are necessary today, and longer, more frequent ones are urged. Close your eyes and begin as usual by repeating today's idea. Then spend a minute or two in searching for situations in your life where you have invested fear, dismissing each one by telling yourself, God is the strength in which I trust. Now try to slip past all concerns related to your own sense of inadequacy. It is obvious that any situation which causes you concern is associated with feelings of inadequacy, since otherwise you would believe you could deal with the situation successfully. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence, but the strength of God in you is successful in all things. The recognition of your own frailty is a necessary step in the correction of your errors, but it could hardly be a sufficient one in giving you the confidence which you need and to which you are entitled. You must also gain an awareness that confidence is your real strength. My apologies. You must also gain awareness that confidence in your real strength is fully justified in every respect and in all circumstances. In the latter phases of the practice period, try to reach down into your mind to a place of real safety. You will recognize that you have reached it if you Feel a deep peace, however briefly. Let go of all the trivial things that churn and bubble on the surface of your mind. Reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven. There is a place in you where there is perfect peace. There is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. Repeat the idea for today often. Use it as your answer to any disturbance. Remember that peace is your right because you are giving your trust to the strength of God. Lesson 47. God is the strength in which I trust. Let's see what Magdalene has to say. Hi, Marty. Welcome. Okay, here comes Magdalene. Greetings, beloved ones. God is indeed the strength in which you trust. For every aspect of you is indeed an aspect of God. And as you grow to love and trust and respect and understand all of your beingness, as you fall madly and deeply in love with yourself, you will come to see that the truth is that God has always been with you, that you are an aspect, an emanation, an exquisite thought in the mind of God, 
Therefore, everything that you can trust about the world that you perceive with your mind, everything that you see, everything that you know, every thought that you have is indeed an extension of God. Allow yourself, beloved ones, to go deeply within today for practice periods are being requested. Allow yourself to seek and find. Do not be just a seeker, be a finder. And find within the voice of God, find within the mind of God, find within the place that you can trust within your own heart, where only love abides. Release and relinquish the mind that has been chaotic in its expressions, the mind that looks for what is wrong, and instead allow yourselves, beloveds, to trust in what is right. This concept of right and wrong has been part of the concept of the light and the dark. Allow yourself today, beloveds, to seek and find within the mind of God, the voice of God, the heart of God. When you come upon a circumstance that is disturbing for you, allow yourself to ask for assistance, to see it in a different way, to see it through the eyes of love, to see what the message is for you. What is the gift? What is the guidance that is being provided within each circumstance, within each moment? within each interaction. Understand, beloveds, that every moment of your existence is ushering you back to be at one with Source. Mm, one moment, please. As you allow yourselves, beloveds, to retrace your footsteps back home, Bring yourself to the oneness that is divinity. And you come to see that there is naught but the mind of God, the peace of God. And in this you can trust. In this you can have the strongest strength and knowledge to know that God is indeed where you are. And when you release yourself from the guilt and the shame and you have forgiven yourself from the sense of separation that you have taken on and owned and believed in and fortified. When you have allowed yourself to say, ah, I am indeed at home with God. Allow me to love as God loves. Allow me to see as God sees. Allow me to think as God thinks. You have once again relegated your mind to the one ship to the sonship, to the truth of all that there is. And all that there truly is, beloveds, is an energy that is so vast and so powerful that it's the energy of love. So allow yourself, dear ones, to know that God is the strength in which you trust. For you are of God. You yourself are holy. Trust is an action of having faith and belief in something that may not exist within the dualistic mind, may not exist within the eyes that allow you to perceive outwards. However, when you allow your vision to be that that is the truth within, that love that you can truly trust. And trust that God is with you at all moments in all circumstances and allow yourself to know that you are an expression of divinity itself. When a circumstance arises that would cause a disturbance within you, understand that there must be a misperception for all circumstances are indeed existing within creation of a mind that is pure, and that is the mind of God. For you to perceive it any other way means that you have come 
out of alignment with creation. So allow yourselves, beloveds, to step back onto the pathway, the pathway that leads you home to the truth of you. Allow yourselves to see the beauty that you are, that we see when we look upon you. Your love is precious. Your heart is beautiful. This is how we see you. And if you need to be reminded, reach out to us, beloved ones. Call upon us to help you remember. And we shall do so. We whisper to you. We direct you. We are here to assist you. We answer your calls. We answer your prayers. So allow us in to your hearts, beloved. And here we take your hands and together we walk on our journey. We love you beyond comprehension. And we stand with you always, beloved ones. God is the strength in which I trust. Let God be the strength in which you trust. Draw upon your relationship with God to find strength when you feel weakened, when you feel saddened, when you have let the world of ego consume you with faith and with love, trust in your relationship with God. And you will indeed be open to the realm of miracles. For a miracle allows you to go from a world in which there is fear and allows you to live within a world in which there is naught but love. We love you and we bless you, beloveds. And we will speak with you again. Greetings. You're welcome, Marianne. Thank you all so much for being here today. And we will see you tomorrow.